Couple of weeks ago, Honda introduced the heavily revamped 6th generation Goldwing. For 2018, the Honda Goldwing has received a host of upgrades in terms of electronics, chassis, suspension, etc. And as a result, the motorcycle has become more compact, lighter, and sharper. But there is one particular feature that got everybody's attention, and that is the front double wishbone suspension system. In this video, we are going to take a look at the new suspension setup and discuss why Honda decided to go this route instead of a traditional upside down fork, which would have been an obvious upgrade from last year's conventional telescopic fork. To be honest, the double wishbone suspension system is nothing new. It's been on cars for ages, but on motorcycles, it's really rare. Honda's double wishbone suspension system has 8 major components. First one is a rigid fork, which is held in place by a large diameter fork holder. The fork holder is supported by an upper and lower wishbone arm, both of which are connected to the chassis. A shock absorber is used to even the undulations on the road and is connected to the lower wishbone arm and the chassis. The steering bridge which holds the handlebar is held in place on the chassis by a roll bearing and is connected to the top of the fork holder via two steering tie rods. This suspension system works just like any other double wishbone suspension system found on cars. When the wheel hits a bump, it moves up and down instead of moving in a diagonal axis like a normal suspension fork. And that brings us to the first advantage. When you apply the brakes on a motorcycle with a conventional fork, the front wheel moves in a diagonal axis along the path of the fork tube. This causes the wheel to move closer to the engine reducing the wheelbase and it forces the designer to leave an extra space between the engine and the tire. Since the wheel only moves up and down in the double wishbone suspension system, Honda was able to push the engine a little bit forward bringing the rider 36mm closer to the cockpit. This new suspension system also contributed to the effort of making the gold wing a much leaner machine. If you compare the old motorcycle with the new one side by side, you can see the difference. Honda claims that with the new suspension, there is a 40% reduction in the inertial mass which greatly helps to reduce the steering effort. Since the motorcycle doesn't have any sliding suspension fork, there is no sliding stiction, which is the frictional force exists between the inner and outer tube of the suspension fork. Due to this, Honda claims a 30% reduction in the shock being transmitted from the ground to the handlebar. So there you have it guys, the working of Honda's double wishbone suspension system. What do you guys think about the new setup? Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up or if you loved it, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you guys next time, ride safe.